Right then, hi everyone. Sorry I didn't do a film last week, it's just too cold. I don't really want to do one now. Nothing works right in this cold. Camera keeps turning on and off. Computer doesn't work half the time. My hands always freezing. And uh, the toys themselves don't work. I don't know what it is, I think it's something to do with the springs in them. They, uh, they don't like to work. But now, of course, I have a few of them, but of course, none of them work properly. But anyway, I got this Metoy copy of a Technofix Magic Hunting Train. I was lucky enough to get one with the box. Um, there you go. Show you how that is. Okay. Quite nice pictures on there, isn't there? Quite nice things going on there. Uh, yeah, this is what the idea of it is. That uh, I showed something similar once before with the crossover track in the middle. And then because, of course, it's so cold, there's the other end of the box, model number 9 stroke 275. Made in Great Britain, it says there. Okay. So, because it's so cold, nothing works right. So, first of all, I'm going to show you the track. Now, I had the Loco and the uh, Wagon before, because I bought them because they were going cheap. And I thought, ooh, if I get those and then I get the track, then I'll have the whole lot. Of course, I wouldn't have the box. I have seen these going on eBay for 100, over £100 with the box. And I thought, having the track, having the loco and wagon, but no track, how would it be if I could just get the track? And so I couldn't find one. But then... Uh, I saw this one for £24 with the box being sold for charity and I thought yeah I'll get that and then next week lo and behold the truck comes up by itself but it was the same price as this was anyway so it seemed to me this was the one to go for. Now the track is what I like best okay I think it's the best part of it so look here we go We've got uh, SO tankers everywhere, platforms, we've got people standing there, there's uh, the truck there, it says uh, transport on it, and there's a city gent going to work. Why he's going to work with a briefcase and a hat on and everything in the marshalling yard, I have no idea. Here we have uh, Loco again. Just move this light a bit out of the way. Oh dear. Porter there. It says number 275 on the uh, packing case. So that's how that is. Alright. Now we'll see what we can do, if anything. First of all, I'm going to show you the Loco and so forth on the turntable so there we go let's see what we can make this do so as I say I've got two of these locos there's the first one I have this is the one that came with the set the other one's in better condition but doesn't run as well as this one so yeah it probably would run a lot better if the weather was hot I tend to find these clockwork toys always do. So anyway, there we go with that one. So it comes, I think, it came with one loco and one wagon. But I now have two locos and three wagons. The loco will make it round the track on its own. But it doesn't seem to do it too well with the wagon. There's the wagon. I did show you the uh, Russian version of this I had, which was bigger, but worked even less than this one does. 
So there you go. That's how it is. Anyway, this all says made in Great Britain on it. Hmm. So right, let's get that out of the way then. And we'll see how it goes. If it goes. I have had this loco oiling all day upside down. So uh see what we can do with it. So the idea is it goes round in an oval and crosses over and shoves the wagons up the uh straight bit in on the edge. Now it does wind it does wind with the Technofix key which is a start isn't it? I happen to have one lying about and didn't have to hunt about for one. So I show you how the train goes round by itself because it seems to like that. It doesn't seem to like having anything to push. So here we go. Right, I'll start it off on the straight to get it going and then it'll no doubt go where it likes afterwards. You can never tell which way it's going to go with this, can you? And then of course as soon as you put the wagon on, it has a problem, doesn't it? And then it derails as well. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is, oh dear, where's the key? Oh no, oh no, I've lost the key. Wait a minute. So yeah, instantly the camera shut off. The cold, and of course I lost the key. That didn't help. So I wind it again and I put this wagon on. I don't know where to put it to be honest. Somewhere where the train won't go is the best. <laughs> well I don't know where it will go do I? So we'll see shall we where it goes. See can't make it round the bend. Come on. Now it's stopped. Now it doesn't like to move again. This is what happens with the cold weather. The rails. Derail your gears. I don't know what it wants to derail all the time. But you know, this is what... The idea is it's very much like the Russian one, which also didn't work. But you get the idea. Well, the idea being is it would shove this wagon around on the track and it do well again. So yeah, I got two of these locos and three of these wagons. This one works even less well. This train. You don't get stuck a lot. That one does. And so there's these wagons, you see. 
But anyway, that's the film really. Um, I've got uh, these other toys as well. One I've got to work out, which is quite rare. I've never seen another one. The Grand Prix Techno Fix track, whereby the cars will not go around the bends, but it's a nice thing to look at. The uh, Big Dipper, which needs work. The coal mine, which always needed work. Uh, yeah, I've got a few things. And there's some I'm waiting on. Maybe one day we'll find one that works right. And yes, I do have parcels to post, but uh, it's too cold to wrap them near the wagon there, look. Yeah, so, yeah, I'll see you uh, next time I can do a film. When maybe it gets a bit warm and things work right. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye!